Hi, my name's Jo Simmons. I've been a farmer all my life and I now live in Carnarvon in the Gascoyne region growing grapefruit and mangoes. I don't think the people in the city realise how many women are involved in farming and agriculture and what they do. I think they're as good, if not better, than the other half. I was brought up on sheep and cattle stations. My most treasured moments, I think, my childhood and how we were brought up and how free it was and just what we learnt from, you know, our parents and our workmen. I was pretty tomboy. I used to do what the boys did, yeah. And then I took on my own station and ran that on my own for many years. And then I sold that to come into town to look after my parents. But I couldn't live in a town, so I bought some dirt. And here I am. We got hit pretty hard with the cyclone, which the trees have only just come back after near three years. But it did hit them terribly. I'm the boss, so-called boss. My husband got his own trucking. So he's away all the time. I think men thinking that women cannot run properties and things, I think they're realising they can do it. Every now and again you get a cutting remark, but it doesn't worry me, Dale. I just say to them, what makes you so good? You know, we just built differently. But as far as capability is concerned, nothing's different. You know, I'm as capable as you. On the stations you had your months where you had to, you know, a shearing or cattle mustering. But if you had a storm or something, you put it off for a couple of days or a week. But here, if something has to be picked, it has to be picked. Otherwise it rots in the paddock. They do the grapefruit in winter, which is a beautiful time of the year. And mangoes, we call it the silly season, it's done through Christmas and New Year. And it's very hot, but you get through it. You have the cutters. If you pick like that, they'll slide straight through. Yeah. You've got to have that up. When you pick, pick up as high as you can there. Just don't be frightened of a few leaves, because they'll come off when we do that. Women are, to me, they're the backbone of the country in pastoral and farming. You can have them out with you, and then they'll turn their hand in the kitchen and. You know, at nine o'clock you might have a pile of washing to do. Um, they just go off and do it, you know. But the men don't. They just come home, have tea, have their king brown and go to bed. But we've got to keep going. But we do. And, and I mean, you only do it because you love it. Right. You haven't done this before, Dale. So you, you've got to do your half and Bron's got to do hers and you've got to move, OK? OK. Any badly burnt ones, just throw away, all right? When I'm employing, you want a couple of blokes for help with some of the heavier lifting, but uh, I mainly employ women handling the fruit and packing fruit because they've got an eye for it, and presentation to me is everything. I think women think at a broader picture. You know, if they think of something, how about we give this a go? You give it a go, it doesn't work go back to the old way and think again. I've got three girls and I wouldn't swap them for the world. It's got a hollow sound to it and it doesn't hurt them. It's just uh, you have to give a couple of taps to say go forward. They've been my workhorses. Bill, we'll just do a couple of uh, three or four circles and then do a figure eight, sir. Huh? 
They'd come back from boarding school and they had to work on their holidays. Always said you had to pay for your boarding fees somehow. And to me, they were worth one and a half blokes. You're going to be a little champ, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah. You're puffed. The horse is puffed. <laughs> I've decided now that I think I'll just concentrate on my trees and have more time with my family and try and slow back a little bit. Got to have space. Got to have my animals. Otherwise I'd be lost without them. Your dog is your best friend, darling. They never answer you back. Yeah.